Gotta check out the running shoes. Gotta check out the running shoes. I lost. I lost in Uno. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? The boys are getting good. They are getting better, I must say. The colors, counting, it's all coming together. All right, driving home from work today. Uh, I had to stop off at REI, check out the polls, Matthew. They did not have the correct uh, Lecky, am I saying that right? The Lecky trekking poles. Remember, at Speed Goat, I kind of hit the wall at about mile 22-ish, eh, 23-ish, where my legs just said, no, 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 I am not going up another hill. And so what I need to purchase now are trekking poles, and that will be critical for Run Rabbit Run. So I've been running in this Ultimate Direction vest for three years now. I've only owned one vest in my entire my entire life. Uh, and this is, I believe, the 2.0, the Anton Kropitschka version. And it's a very lightweight vest. It's a good vest. Um, they've come a long ways, though, in the last three years, Ultimate Direction. But Raid Light. Oh, hold on. One second. Hold on. P.S. I'm still working on the studio over there over still working on the studio it's coming it's coming it's coming slowly all right so this is my brand this is my brand new raid light vest and now obviously today this is not my full review of the vest because i just bought it but i did run in it today so i can give you you know kind of my initial impressions of holding it testing it on in the store which p.s make sure you do that if you if you can get to a running store that has vests like it's all about that fit and so i took like i don't know 20 minutes probably trying it on you know bouncing around in it tightening the side knobs that I'm just gonna call knobs for now I don't even know what they official I think maybe they called them like boas maybe something like yeah probably boas kind of like a boa constrictor this little guy there right there that you twist and uh, trying out the bottle but most importantly for the run rabbit run race I need to figure out uh, I needed to figure out a pole system where to carry my trekking poles so the ultimate direction vest that I had there was no place to really store poles uh, that, yeah, it just was not made to carry trekking poles. And now, in my, uh, as I continue to attempt to run hard, run, you know, up high and run steep mountains, I'm realizing like trekking poles is just necessary for my body build. It's just necessary. So this guy has two places to carry poles across the vet, across the chest, and then also as you're seeing right now on the screen at the store, but also right here in the back area. The poles go right there in the back. I tested it out in the store um, with some other Raid Light poles, which I'm not gonna purchase. I'm gonna go with the Lecky version. So anyway, my initial impression is very, 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 very good. A, a slight, uh, not concern, just like something that's different is this, is this mesh. This mesh right here is a little different. I will say I'm not, I wasn't quite ready or expecting this mesh very breathable but I do you know I do like running with no shirt a lot of times in the summer just to try and stay cool as much as possible so it just you know just felt a little different having this mesh kind of on my skin but in the hundred mile race I'm definitely gonna have like a shirt on so we're all good there um, and then in the back like a ton of storage for the poles right up here I know I don't know if you can see that but the poles right here right here and then even right there some straps for more gear like your you know your jacket your hat your gloves um, but the main reason I I'm trying raid light which is a an obscure company from France like most people go with ultimate direction Solomon Nathan uh, ultra spire um, who am I missing? Who am I missing? I don't, who am I missing? So, but Raid Light, I'm telling you, like nobody in the United States is using these guys right now. Um, so this is the three liter version. I went with Raid Light over Solomon, over Ultimate Direction again, over Nathan, is the hydration bottle system. Like I get sometimes a little, uh, not distracted, but just like, I don't know, I don't, maybe lazy, but it's all about this bottle. Like I need these nozzles 
right in my face. Or else I might forget to drink. I might get too lazy to drink. Um, with the Ultimate Direction, you know, you had two bottles in the front and then the bladder in the back. But like this, it's just right here. Mm -hmm. Like I can just drink just like that. Boom, boom, boom. We all got to stay hydrated somehow. Don't we think our bodies are something like 80% water? So we all got to hydrate, right? right? Viva la France. Thank you for this great product. We'll see what we'll see how it does up in the mountains once again. And uh, that's all, folks. That's all she wrote for today. We will see you tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, this is not a gear review channel. This is a life channel that happens to do a lot of running and gearing up for the running. Capiche? Capiche. Seek beauty, work hard, love each other. One last point, as I'm just like messing around here after I turn the camera off, is uh, it's definitely more, I would say, like stretchy compared to Ultimate Direction. That's just my initial impression. It feels a little more loosey-goosey, like not a quite as rigid of fabric. Be that as it may, just putting that out there.